Good morning, all of you. My name is Dr. Josna Devi. I am presenting the case of Karstroma uh, cervix. Summary of the case is uh, Mrs. L, wife of uh, Mr. V, aged 45 years, with uh, complaining of a foul smelling vaginal discharge per, since 4 years and bleeding per vaginal since 2 months, with uh, 5 into 5 centimeters size cauliflower like growth, presence on the cervix, which is uh, bleeds on touch, with upper warm third of the vagina and the parametrial involvement. Uh, provisional diagnosis is Mrs. Uh, L, 45 years old, perimenopausal woman with the carcinoma cervix stage 2B. What risk factor you expect in this patient? Sir, uh, this patient is uh, having uh, in her uh, history itself, she is uh, having early marriage, sir. She married at uh, 14 years of age and her okay. uh, uh, first, uh, first child birth was... Uh, 13 years of age and the first child birth by 14 years itself. Early marriage and uh, early first delivery is a risk factor for her. And uh, she is a second wife to her uh, husband. Probably, uh, though they are not giving the high risk behavior, uh, husband may be having some somewhat uh, probable high no, risk. No, is there any evidence of the previous wife? wife no, sir. No, sir but uh, the first wife died because some suicidal... Uh, Right. Sir. So there is no such relation that she died of a similar type of disease no, sir. so that we can accuse the husband for this pathology. No. Was she using oral contraceptive pills? Uh, no, not used any contraceptive pills. Is there any relationship using oral yes, contraceptive sir. pills yes, for 5 years, 10 years? 8 years. Can it increase some risk of CA cervix? Yes, sir. Adenocarcinoma, what is that? Adenocarcinoma of the cervix will be... Endocervical carcinoma. Is there any relationship of barrier contraceptive and cancer carcinoma of the cervix? It is having some decreases, sir. HPM. STD will be decreased and uh, human papilloma virus uh, infection. Okay, good enough. In STD, the cytomegaly virus infection and chlamydia trichomatis, do they have some impact on incidence of uh, cervical cancer? Yes, sir. Where, where are they seen with CA cervix or are they seen with CIN? Chlamydia, trichomatis and? Seen, sir. CIN. They are seen with CA cervix. With CIN, candidiasis and trichomaniasis. These are the two things they are seen with CIN. Right? Yes. Well, earlier too they are seen with invasive cervical malignancy. Any Deficiency of diet, can it predispose cervical lesions? Say vitamin A deficiency, vitamin D deficiency. Has she undergone any such sort of screening procedure? Has, has she undergone the pap procedure? She didn't undergone a pap smear test, sir. For her so if, if you are the doctor working in the primary health center and wanted to screen the population for cervical malignancy, what type of screening you undertake? Smear, sir. Before that, would you like to go for downstaging? Yes, sir. Down what is that? Astic acid. Per Perspective examination, sir. Uh -huh. We find unhealthy cervix. Who is uh -huh. going to do that? Who is doing? Doctor, Doctor paramedical yeah, yeah. workers. Paramedical staff will be trained for downstaging. We have to train them to do all these things. Okay. Has the downstaging reduced the incidence of carcinoma cervix? Hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, oh. sir, but uh, the early At least you can detect of CA something. cervix is there. Early That's only. Make it clear. It Pap smear you have to take. What instruction you give to the patient? See, she has, you have to tell the patient, come on day, four, day one of menstrual cycle, I'll take you Pap smear. She will say, no doctor, I'll not come. Then what instruction you will tell her? Avoid uh, intercourse should not be there. When to come in relation with around menstrual cycle? Around ideally, around in relation with menstrual cycle, when the patient should come? Ovulation, sir. Around ovulation. ovulation. That means mid middle of the cycle. Of the cycle. After. 
मिड ऑफ द साइकल ओके एनी अदर इंस्ट्रक्शन वॉट टाइप ऑफ बैप्समियर इज वॉट टाइप ऑफ सर्वाइकल बायोप्स इट इज वॉट टाइप ऑफ साइटोलॉजी इट इज एक्सफोलिएटिव साइटोलॉजी राइट और एब्रेजन साइट मोर प्रिज इट इज एब्रेजन एक्सपोलिएटिव अंत एक्सपोलिएशन अना पोस्टीरियर फॉरिंग्स अट्ठदे अभी एब्रेजन मनमाली सर्विस्ट ब्रूजी रे सारा मूड सारा और रोटेटी मन सेवाले अंत एब्रेजन सैटालजी थर्ड सैटालजी Do you add anything more from that of the service side biopsy? Whatever you are discussing, do you take any, any other, anything, anything? Endocervical anything more? cells are Absolutely. more. Absolutely, right. you must. Yes. Endocervical cells. Cytology. By brushing. Okay. What you how? What you will tell to the patient to have coitus before coming to hospital? No. No. Then. No. Dushing vagina, cleaning no, vagina. No, cleaning vagina, no. dushing vagina should not okay, be. Okay, your intern doctor has cleaned the vagina with betadine. Cervix clean with betadine and ask you, madam, come take the pap smear. No, sir. Then you have to tell no. Cleaning of the vagina by betadine by Savlon is not to be done. Right? Yes, you just have to take no, the smear. How to take the smear? How many smears you are supposed to take? Ecto cervix, endo cervical area. How to take the smear? Minimum, how many smears are needed two, for pap smear? Two smears. Uh, minimum of two smears I have. Minimum two smears from ecto cervix, or the transformation zone, and minimum one, one endo cervical brushing sample. Yes. Three smears are minimum required, right? To take the pap smear and how to put it? Do you have aerosol spray to fix them immediately? Yes, sir. Do you have spray with you? Yes. Then what do you use? Fixative. Fixative, sir. Which fixative? You. Put some that uh, liquid or some that of the spray or something. What how to transport? Uh, how to transport this particular smear to pathology department? Formalin fixated. Uh, Formalin. If you use the cells, will die. Right, cells will die. Ah. It is always ninety percent alcohol. Ninety percent ether alcohol that you are to supposed to put in the jar. That's called as Copley's jar, which contains having five serrations and at a time six slides are going to fit there. So two patient slides in one jar. You have to label the slide by glass marking pencil. That is one thing. Put back to back. Yes, Put sir. back to back, not front to front. Criteria. How much time it takes to fix the slide? In 95 percent ether alcohol. 30 minutes. Minimum 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Then you send it. You know about George Nicholas Papinikolou who did this training? His name was recommended for Nobel Prize. The Nobel Committee has rejected the plea, saying that what this fellow has invented, merely a staining technique. Right? and they rejected plea actually his work was far more get greater than the nobel prize but unfortunately this particular person has refused to give the nobel this one of the biggest tragedy in the life of george nicolas papinikolou what else how does how is the lesion on the cervix it see i wanted to check the cervical lesion which is ulcerative type can you describe a cervical lesion which is ulcerative type that's of malignancy how is the malignant ulcer on the cervix Sir, what's the location This patient has got ulcers, no? No, no. She is having cauliflower. Big. She is established. Growth is established. 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 Exophytic. Ulcerative lesions. Ulcerative growth will be having inverted edges and indurated base. Edges of the ulcer. Base of the ulcer. Raised edges will be. Pardon? Raised edges with the indurated base. Raised edges means what? Raised means what? Adjacent to the healthy tissue, you have to take the biopsy. You know. Hmm. Yes. Uh, how you have made this staging of this disease stage two B? Huh. On what basis you said parametric? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, my. What does it mean that stage two B? And how you have this the diagnosis of stage two B for this patient? In this patient, uh, upper what one. What does it mean that stage two B means? Uh, what are the tissues involved? In stage two B, uterine uterine involvement with the upper vaginal uh, upper one third of the vagina is called stage two B. Without parametrial involved involvement is two uh, A, and uh, with parametrial involvement no, is. No, this patient. This okay. patient. In this patient, uh, she is uh, having parametrial involvement. That's right. That's why. So how did you make out that parametrial? Yeah, my. Right. Uh, And even the pervasional and per in pervasional examination also. What clinical examination? Clinical yes, examination. Clinical. How you rule out the involvement of the parametrium? Important. How you rule out the involvement of the rectum? Both. So also the bladder. How do you rule bladder? Out? Sir, yeah, in uh, bimanual uh, examination, on examination, uh, 
the nodularity of the parametrium is uh, present, sir. Even in the parietal examination also, uh, after uh, pervasional, uh, pervasional exam, uh, findings are confirmed. Did you do the cystoscopy to exclude the involvement of the bladder? He Base of the bladder has to be seen by cystoscopic yes, examination. Sir. Yes, sir. Then sir. only you can rule out the bladder involvement. Colonoscopy, you have to do rectal to rule out the involvement of the rectum, but that can be proctos proctocolonoscopy. If you have to do rule out that proctoscopy, if you can't do that, then you can clinically you have to check the puckering and mobility of the rectal mucosa by doing a PR examination. What would be your and plan of management for this patient? <coughs> chemo radiotherapy, sir. Chemo radiation. Why you prefer to go for the chemo? Why not the surgery? surgery. To sir, be she is a perimenopausal uh, woman. Right. And. Uh, Staging of the CSRX is of 2B, mm. para with the parametrial involvement, so... So you mean that she is not a good case for surgical uh, procedure? She is fit. All investigations are normal, ECG normal, she is fit for surgery. Now can you advise her some surgery? No, sir. No. In OPD you examine the patient. The cauliflower-like lesion is friable, neurotic, highly vascular, and it started bleeding. What you will do? Tight, uh, this happens, no? Hmm. Tight no. packing uh, of the vagina and uh, Ideally, for this particular thing, there is a good solution that is available in all cities. That is called a spheric subsulfate solution or Monsen solution. This was invented by Dr. Leon Monsen. The pack which is soaked in Monsen solution or spheric subsulfate solution has to be put in vagina reasonably tightly because the tissue is friable if you try to put it more forcibly the friable tissue will again bleed so try to compress it leave it for 24 hours minimum and the bleeding will stop completely that's one way other way of stopping the bleeding <coughs> can you use some help of radiology department to stop the bleeding if it is not helpful is that of the men's of solution, solution. solution you have to go to go for the next step to control the bleeding Radiation therapy. Radiation therapy to stop the why, bleeding. Why you have considered for this patient chemo radiation rather than radiation alone? Because radiation is also Ke quite chemo good. radiation. Uh, cisplatin is a radio sensitizer, sir. Sorry. Cisplatin, uh -huh. which is used in uh, why why radio sensitizer. It's a radio sensitizer, sir. That's right. At the same so time, you can give the patient tablet metronidazole. Three times a day, 400 milligram, which also works to take care of gram-negative infection. At the same time, it is radio sensitizer too, in a if, milder form. If we compare the results of such chemo radiation versus it's surgery, in an otherwise, for say, for example, stage two A case, A stage, could there be any difference between the outcome th of Sir, therapy? In only the surgery and surgery? chemo radiation. No difference between the outcome of the surgery or uh, difference in terms of what? Five year survival but rate. Recurrence rate. Recurrence and five year survival. survival rate. Hmm? Okay, histopathology report at the time of biopsy which you have taken was large cell keratinizing squamous cell carcinoma. Does this give you some hint of prognosis of the patient? You know, histologically there are different types. Small yes. cell yeah, yeah. non keratinizing yeah. and large cell keratinizing. Yes, These two the things will. Small cell is having uh, less progress. Louder, please. Bad. Use small the mic. cell is having bad prognosis compared sure. to large cell. Sure. And keratinizing variety is also having a better prognosis. Adenocarcinoma versus squamous cell carcinoma. Good keratinizing will give you good prognosis rather than non keratinizing. Non differentiated tumor. Non differentiated tumor. It's a bad problem. In OPD, when you examine the patient, the friable mass that has come out, a portion. Would you like to send this for histopathology? Will it work? The friable necrotic mass, because of your PV, has come out. Some pieces. Send these pieces for HPR. Will it work? It's a necrotic tissue. It won't work. So you're not supposed to send that. Right? So coming okay. back to our, uh, not related to this sort of presentation, it's a late case of carcinoma cervix, what is most of the time common in our country that we get such late cases. Now consider the situation that the lady has come and she is quite young and that uh, happened that of this uh, microinvasive carcinoma. Younger lady, 
न्यूली मैरिड कुड देयर बी एनी फर्टिलिटी प्रिजर्वेशन सर्जरी और ट्रीटमेंट इन सच सॉर्ट ऑफ यंग वुमेन यस सर आ आई एम सॉरी सर मैडम द क्वेश्चन इज कीपिंग असाइड दिस केस दिस इज ए एडवांस केस ऑफ कार्सिनोमा सर्विक्स दैट वी हैव प्लान द डायग्नोसिस मैनेजमेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ कीमो रेडिएशन क्वाइट गुड इन टर्म्स ऑफ फाइव ईयर सर्वाइवल एंड रिकरेंस रेट is this good comparable to that of the surgery now consider a woman young woman newly married that uh, 23 25 early stage microinvasive carcinoma cervix fertility scope of fertility preservation in case of sorry laparoscopic lymphadenectomy followed by tracheotomy no what are the cases that could be considered for radical tracheotomy so question of radical tracheotomy that the lesion now then those are the rare situation but there may be an occasional case early stage disease that of the microinvasive carcinoma there rise the, comes the question of fertility preservation surgery so who are the cases stage wise and what is radical tracheotomy and how the outcome is Just the lesion must be less than 2 cm if the lesion is more than 2 cm there is no question of uh, fertility by and large stage 1 a1 a2 or that of the um, 1b even less than 2 cm dimensions they are the good cases without any lymphovascular space involvement before that there is some tracheotomy there is one more uh, radical tracheotomy there is one more criteria to be fulfilled you know that first it was designed by Drangen Daniel 1987 and then laparoscopy has to be done node sampling has to be done and pelvic